you know that feeling when you find someone worth your time when you when you feel like they are the most beautiful person in the world when you feel like they are the most trusted person in your life and suddenly they turn out to be a complete waste of time but by that time you've already invested so much time and energy in them that you're really hurt you're really disappointed and i know you know that feeling because most of us feel it very frequently we trust someone they break our trust we trust another person they also hurt us and when this thing happens too often we start feeling as if the whole world is bad but maybe for a second we need to stop and think if the problem is with us we are so quick very quick to label just because someone you just met offered you a coffee does not make them nice you can't just call someone a good person just because you have a good time with them and someone who appears rude someone who's always serious is not a bad person but this is something we constantly do we are very quick to assume if someone is a good person if someone is a bad person and we are very eager to put a label on them and that is why we're constantly disappointed in people we are not happy with how the people in our life behave we are not happy with how someone turned out and that is because we assess them wrong we have this tendency of making someone a hero or a villain way too soon like you just met someone you had a good time they're a funny person you laughed on all their jokes so you assume they are a good person but again being funny is a good quality but does that quality really matter to you so in the end it all comes down to what's good for you there are no good people there are no bad people if you go to your psychiatrist and tell them you know i'm hurt because she's not a good person they'll tell you the exact same thing this is the first thing you have to understand if you don't want to be disappointed in life get this thing out of your head that there are good people and there are bad people unless there are extremes of both most people fall in the middle they are not entirely good they are not entirely bad you just have to find someone who's good for you and this is what the video is going to be about i'm going to be talking about a really old egyptian technique egyptians as we know were really smart people they built the pyramids but they were also good with human psychology so egyptian started with the notion that someone is not good or bad but they can be good for you or bad for you and in life our motto should be bringing more people who are good for us i'll tell you why that's important one you will be less disappointed in people two you will be closer to getting what you think you want now what you think you want may not be what you really really want it's a trick our mind plays it makes us think we want something but we really don't want that thing but the only way to realize what you really want is to get the thing you think you want and if you don't want it then you'll obviously feel unhappy and then you'll try to get the thing you think you want so it goes and on and on and on and if you're confused that's not the point of the video the point of the video is to understand that there are no goods or bads there are no whites or blacks there are just a lot of things in the middle everyone including you and i are in the middle we are all gray and particularly when we talk about humans there are no extremes our characters are too complicated to be categorized as good or bad someone can be truthful but at the same time they can be very selfish so do you call them good or bad and someone can be very selfless but at the same time they are also very careless so do you call them good or bad again there is no definition to it it's what you feel is good it's what you feel is bad everyone you know is good for someone and bad for someone you just have to find people who are good for you and that is the first step in knowing people you will forever be disappointed in people if you trust everyone to be good for you now yes i know there is good in everyone and i strongly believe in it but it is possible that the best person on the earth may not be good enough for you so we start out with defining what is good for you i want you to think and tell me what are the three qualities that define a good person for you now this is something i can't do for you you have to do it yourself you know yourself better so take your time and write down three qualities that you think make a good person 
Now here's a rookie mistake a lot of people make in this. They don't take enough time and they end up writing just any good quality like you know, uh, funny, uh, brave, uh, hard working. So yeah, three qualities ready? No. These are the three qualities that will be your criteria for judging people. These qualities can make the deal or break the deal and this is the most important part of the video. So you have to take your time and think about it. Like. Take me for example, I gave it 7 days after I found out the technique and I narrowed down on So kindness, loyalty and doing the right thing. These are the three qualities I absolutely need. You have to define the qualities in your head also. Like I said, kind. So, do I want someone who's kind to animals? Do I want someone who's kind to poor people? Do I want someone who's kind to old people? Again, I have to define what is kindness for me. Second quality, loyalty. Do I want someone who's loyal to their friends? Or do I want someone who's loyal, so much loyal that they will stop me from doing a wrong thing? Even when I'm not listening to them. Or do I want someone who will join me in doing the wrong thing? Which, by the way, is a very negative trait and we'll get there in next video. But for now, I have to define my loyalty. What does loyalty mean to me? Now, the third quality which I said was they do the right thing. So, personally speaking, I need someone who does the right thing in every situation. I get like a lot of arguments because people are always like, Hey, there are no rights or wrongs. It's all a matter of perspective. My six could be your nine, but not really. The person who drew it, they either made a 6 or they made a 9. They did not make both. Go to them and find out what they made. We cannot award the person who guessed 9 and the person who guessed 6. Both of them are not right. In real life, the lines are never so blurred. The Western world hails Winston Churchill as a war hero. But the truth is, he killed a million starving people, took their food and fed his countrymen. So. It's obvious Winston Churchill was a bad person, period. And this is what I mean when I say that I want someone who does the right thing always. Now, these were the three qualities for me. For you, the three qualities can be funny. It could be someone who dresses well. Again, this is not something where I would be judging you on. This is for you to decide what your three qualities are. Take a lot of time, but only fix the three qualities that matter the most to you. Now, let me tell you something. Over the years, I have started admiring a wise person, a brave person, an independent person. I'm sure there are a lot of qualities you admire about people. But here, in this particular video, it all depends on the three qualities you pick. No more, not even four, not even five, only three. These three qualities are going to decide what a good person can mean for you. And for the rest of the video, it is very important that you take whatever amount of time you want, take months if you want, but be very sure of the three qualities you're picking. And now we'll go for the two. According to this theory, there are three categories in the good for you category. The good good category is the best people you'll find. These are the people who've ticked all your three qualities. In my case, it will be someone who's kind, who's loyal and who also does the right thing. It's very rare to find someone who ticks all your three boxes. So if you have even one person who ticks all these three, you're super lucky. Keep them. This is the good good category. These are the best people. Invest your best in them. But because it's gonna be super rare to find these people, we have the second category, kinda good. And if most people in your life fall in this category, trust me, you are still lucky. Now, the second category is the kind of people who kinda are all these things, but they don't have the action. You know what I'm saying? Like, they are kind, they are loyal, they do the right thing, but they've never really done something for me. Like, I've always had these nice words from them, they wish me well, they motivate me, but I don't know if they would really come for me when I need them, if they would actually help me. So this is the kind of category you invest in, but very carefully, you have to limit your investments in these categories. Because at the end of the day, we're not sure till which level are they committed to us. We know they're good people, but we don't know how good. So this is the category you give time to. You wait and watch them. 
you help them you motivate them but not in a way that would hurt you you know don't cross oceans for someone you don't know would cross oceans for you so yeah you have to watch out how much you help them but this being said the kind of good category is still a good category and the third good category is the bad good the interesting people because they have at some point showed one of these three qualities or they often show one of these three qualities or they maybe show two of them but not all three of them maybe or even if they show all three of them they do some stuff which is not acceptable for you so this is a category which is promising but they are really bad at being good so with these people you need to be a little cautious you know they have the potential of hurting you in the past they have disappointed you so with these people you have to watch out but at the same time they are also a good category so you have to be patient with them you have to give them time to prove themselves you don't have to leave them right away or you don't have to call them your bff just be patient with them help them get better but again keep a distance so that it doesn't hurt you so much now these were the three categories of people who are good for you again this does not mean they are good for everyone this does not mean they are good people it's just someone who's good for you now we move on to the people who did not tick any of the boxes one who hasn't even ticked one of your boxes is clearly not good for you again i like to remind you this does not mean that they are not good for anyone or they are a bad person but they are just bad for you Now in this bad for you category also we have three categories The best people out of this category will be the good bad category Now I don't want you to confuse it with the bad good category The bad good category at least ticked one of your boxes The good bad category ticks none of your boxes but at the same time they have some qualities that you really admire so In my case maybe someone who is in kind loyal or maybe they don't even do the right thing but what if they are brave what if they are funny what if they are intelligent they have a lot of good qualities and they are the good bad people so their treatment is pretty similar to the bad good people again we're giving them time we're letting them prove themselves and then we're doing something if they are not able to prove themselves just like the bad good category we have to be at peace with who they are and we have to maintain a distance with them again this is a category which has a potential of disappointing you because they are not what you're looking for so please maintain a safe distance in the bad for you category the best people you're going to get are the good bad people not what you're looking for but still worth a shot The second kind of people in the bad for you category are the kind of bad people. The kind of bad people do not tick the boxes you want. They don't have the qualities you're looking for. They are also not showing a lot of other good qualities, but at the same time you know they don't mean physical harm. Like you know there is some jealousy in them. You know they don't like to see you grow, succeed, but they're not causing you physical harm. So if possible you should avoid these people ignore these people but in case you find these people in your family or at your office then you can't just ignore them you have to at times respond to them work with them so in that case you just stick to your responsibilities no further and the third category in the bad category they are the bad bad people now these are the people who have physical harm for you in their heart they can hurt you they can try and attack you and if you spot this category it will be very easy to spot them are they too much into drinking are they too much into drugs are they into violent behavior have they shown any criminal records in the past if you find this category run run no no other option no argument does not matter what other qualities they have run for your life sister really just just run please 
This is an old Egyptian technique of finding out if someone is good for you or not. It has survived ages and it is really effective. So after you're done with watching this video, please go and try this technique on all the people you know in your life. Now you don't have to go and tell them Aaj main tujhe judge karne wali hu. Oh crap, I just forgot it's an English video. Sorry. <laughs> Now you don't have to go and tell them. I'm going to judge you today, but no, you just have to mentally do it. Make a list if you want to. I'm sure this trick will help you in understanding people in your life better and after you have your three qualities ready, take your time for that. No need to rush. Find out the three qualities in a person that matter the most to you. Write them down on a paper and then start analyzing everyone in your life. And I'm sure you'll be able to understand why some people disappointed you in life and why some never did. And if you're wondering if I've stopped with my CBD videos, no, I haven't. I'm still gonna make a lot of CBD videos. There are a lot of mental illnesses to cover, but CBD videos require a lot of research and time, so I'm gonna need some time to make that. But till then, I'm gonna make more such psychology-related videos, which are also going to do you good if you watch them full. So yeah, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you next time. No, it's like. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Bye.